Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I'm Nikki, and I have some bad news for you. Um, I have another clip leak. Yes, yes I do. Um, if you've been keeping up with the channel, a couple weeks ago I had a clip leak, and I did the Beamer fix uh, to fix that. And I was very happy with it, love the process, love the product. Um, but waited a couple weeks, came back, car was in the garage for a couple of days, and I had a coolant leak again. Um, so the Beamer fix didn't work. Now, I don't think that it was the Beamer fix that was the issue. I'm concerned that it wasn't my front gasket that was the problem. So I am prepared to go through the whole transfer pipe replacement today. Uh, but what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to dig into the car. I'm going to take everything out, get into the uh, intake manifold, and see if I can pinpoint where that leak is coming from. Um, oh, let's see. I don't know. Always an adventure. Um, but yeah, I'm going to now pull the car out, put it in place, and we're just going to get to work. That's all you can do. What do you think, Tuco? What do you think? I agree. This is crap. This is crap. Yeah. part taken out to a point where now we can start to drain that coolant. So if you're calm, there is a pipe right down there where I just need to unhook a little prong and pull the tube out and, um, and the coolant should leak right out. I got a tote underneath to catch that coolant. I am hoping to keep that coolant as clean as possible. I have a tote, I'm going to put a cover on it. Um, if I can keep that coolant clean, I'm going to reuse it. That's what I want to do. There's the pipe right down there. Uh uh uh, come inside. To go. Come. Come. Gotta show you these lights that my husband made for me. Super cool. Just LED strips that he just taped together and put magnets on. So I can connect them right there. Huh. Cause field modification. Super, super handy. Another Y adapter for two of them. I'm going to loosen this belt tensioner. to remove the water pump pulley. Before I go any further, I think my coolant is almost done. I'm gonna put the cover on. I don't want anything to drop and get in there, nor do I want my tools to fall in there. Okay, now I'm removing that pulley. Soon we forget how hard this was to do. more of these magnetic trays that have them everywhere. Alright, 
Now, um, it's time to try to get that water pump, so I'm going to be getting rid of all these pipes and tubes and all that crap that's in the way. So, ugh, here goes. Oh, I remember this one being a stinker. Not on the ground, it's not in my coolant. I don't know where it is. I need that clip. Alright, I think I'm going to um, continue on. Maybe it fell into something, fell on something. And hopefully, once I take this apart more, find it. That sucks. That really sucks. I need that. Do you want to know why I feel myself doing this? So I know how to put this stuff back together. I would never remember how to put this shit back together if I wasn't taping myself. Okay, so now on to removing the water pump. I love that I'm dripping coolant every time. It's fantastic. Ugh. Nasty, nasty bolt. We in the back here. That's just horrible. To be forever last time. Small, small. I'm just kidding. It didn't really take me two hours, but I did get that bolt out. It's just a very slow, slow grind to get this damn bolt out. So it is what it is. And there's the water pump. Uh, we're gonna have to replace this gasket too since we are taking this off. Don't want to put this back on with the old gasket on. I want to make sure that seal is perfect. I think what I'm going to do is take the intake manifold off, just get everything on there so I can have a clear view of everything, um, and then have a good access to that. I need to somehow get that stent out, um, and I don't want to break anything else while I'm doing that. So that should be interesting. So what I'm going to start with here is taking this rubber seal off because I need to take this whole panel up here off and out in order to get this intake manifold out.
Oh my God, I got so lucky. If you don't have one of these magnet thingy with jigs, get one. Saved my ass so many times. Goodness. Thank goodness. Okay, the project can go on. I know this looks ridiculous, but I don't care. I don't know how else to get back here. I'm gonna start now um, unscrewing this intake manifold. So there's five bolts on each side. I need to remove these and get these out of the way in order to get at the intake manifold. Problem is, is that they've got all these cables connected to them. And I have no idea what I'm doing. I can't find anywhere an example of how to do this. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to label each one of these and just keep on plugging. I'm trying to remember where they go uh, so I know how to put them back gonna record it really well. I'm gonna document it um, so I know how to put this back together. Otherwise I'll be in trouble. All right, I have all my cables labeled here. One, two, three, and four. So let's see here. One. One is this guy right here and goes down to this clip right here. And put that. Two goes down here into this valley down way down in there three goes just right there on the side and then number four will go down to the side right there all right so I'm feeling pretty good about that um, so we'll get going and start removing those Here's the trick with these little pegs here. You gotta push, clip down, and pull. And I might use a screwdriver or something to give me leverage to help pull it out, but that helped a ton. Okay, so number one had two of these prongs. Now we gotta find where this number two goes down into that deep belly down there. So if I follow it around down here, the wire leads to a connector that is right, right there, right down there. So we've got Number one. So one is going down to the vacuum pump down here on the side. Number two is going to those dual plug-ins, Benno solenoids. Number three is going back down to the nasty little place right around the back, all the way down to under the car into the oil pan, which is a complete 
bare to get at. So completely pushed these out of the way. Um, and I pushed this one as far as possibly can. It's a little bit of tension on this wire, but I think we can still access this bolt for the fuel rail, which, which we need to, to get this out of here. So we're gonna just try to leave it, try to get these two out. And then I think we should be able to get the intake manifold out. Right next to it. Yes. Okay, so after trying to lift this manifold up, there is a hose right down in there. That is keeping the manifold from being able to come off. So that hose right there needs to be unclipped on both sides. All right, here's where we're right now. You can see that valley pan stuffed, of course, uh, paper towels into the uh, the intake holes just to make sure nothing gets down there. But now we gotta get this valley pan out because that pipe is that transfer pipe is gonna be right under there. What a mess. <sighs> How do I get that all out? Paper towels. No. <laughs> Seriously? Mm -hmm. uh. Well, hey guys, we are out of time. Um, this is a very lengthy project, so I'm going to have to wrap this up now. But please, catch me in the next episode. Go ahead and subscribe because we are going to get into the good stuff. Um, I'm gonna get in there and figure out exactly where this coolant leak is coming from. And while I'm there, I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole process of replacing the transfer pipe. So stay tuned. I wanna thank you for watching this episode and I'll see you next time.